Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss Convault GUI. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. Convault GUI, graphical user interface, also called as Comcell Console. It is used to manage the Convault environment and perform administrator activities. To launch the application, click Start. All apps. Launch Convault Comcell Console. Log in with your credentials. The console GUI has a menu on the top, also called as ribbon. The ribbon provides access to features and administrative options available for the environment. You can close the menu or ribbon and expand it when needed. This will give additional room for other panes. There are four panes in Comvault console which are important. Comcell browser. This is the main navigation window. You can use the hierarchical structure to access all categories and components within the environment. In navigation pane, you have two tabs, content tab and summary tab. In content tab, you can view details for the component selected in the browser. The summary tab will give summarized information. From Job Controller, one can view and control all active jobs in the Comcell environment and carry out administrator activities. The Event Viewer window provides information for all logged events within the environment. Comserve name can be incurred from five different locations. You do not have to get into Licensing and Registration window to get the Comcell ID. It can be noted from here. The ComServe version, Service Pack version, and Hotfix Pack information can be obtained from here. The current user login to the ComCell console is shown here. The alert indicator shows the critical or high alerts for this ComCell. You can save your ComCell user preference from here. You can hide the ComCell browser when needed. Unhide and pin it back. You can group the panes as you need. You can group them horizontally or vertically. Adjust the size of the panes. Let's discuss about Job Controller. By default, the playing button is active in the Job Controller, as it is updated for every X minutes. You can pause the updates, if needed, and play it back. This ribbon shows the number of running jobs count, pending with error job count, waiting job count, waiting for resources mainly, queued job count queued because other job is running for the same sub-client. Suspended backup job count. Total jobs count. The total jobs are number of jobs seen in the job controller. Job streams count. The job stream count is different compared to the total job count, because a job can run with one stream, or more than one stream, as configured on the sub-client. High watermark number represents the maximum number of job streams that can run on this com cell. It is not the number of jobs that run on this com cell. The first column, if you see a symbol then that means it is a warning. The warning indicates that the job is delayed running. 
If you hover over the icon, it shows the reason. In this case, job is running for a longer time than expected. Right click on the top row, you see a menu with many options. You can auto resize the highlighted or selected column to expand it, so you can see entire content. You can auto resize all columns. Horizontal scroll at the bottom of pane to scroll and see the content. Choose columns gives a list of available columns to choose from, so it is easy for you monitor the environment or look for specific information from the jobs. You can save the job list in CSV or XLS format. You can email the job list or print it. Find is like a search bar in the job controller. Filter help you filter the data like in Excel. You also have a group by option. Hovering it will give you a list of available options to choose from. Let's check few options and how to use them. The find option, you can search using client name, agent type etc. Let's say I want a specific job. We can refine the selection by choosing, show matching rows only. Or by choosing match case, or whole word. You can also use the up and down arrows to find, and highlight the selection. If you like to save the entries, I recommend not to select any entry in the window. Just right click on the top row, select save. From the files of type, it is recommended to select CSV format. Right click on the top row. Select filter. You can now filter the selections as in Excel. For example, from agent type you can select the agent type for which you wish to check the details. You can try and check for other agents. The other way is to create filter of your choice and select them when needed. Click on plus symbol to open the add filter window. Name the filter of your choice. Select a column of your choice. Choose a condition from the list. Select the values as desired. Once done, click Add to List. Select one of the matching criteria which you feel is correct for your requirement. Once done, click OK. Your filter is ready for usage. You can switch around the filters as needed. You can export the filter and save it. You can import a filter exported from this COM cell, or any other COM cell. If you wish to remove the filter, select the filter, click on Delete. On the Confirm pop up window, click Yes. You can also access the same menu from this more icon. Let's check the job options. Right click on a job to see the available options. The available options are suspend. Resume. Kill this job. Change priority of the job. Change resume interval, which we have never used before. Tools. View job events. Shows all the events occurred for this job, view logs, at various levels used for analysis, or troubleshooting. Send log files, for yourself, or for a vendor, and is applicable for this particular job. Job details. Multi-job control, used to perform multiple actions in one go. Resubmit job, you can use this option to restart the same job, with already selected options. This saves time as you do not have to revisit the client computer and its sub-client to restart the job.
an alert. This is useful when you wish to be notified if this job fails or completes. After you create the alert, you get the option to delete or modify it. Filters. You already know. List media is available once the job complete. It will give details of the media on which this job is stored. List media and size will give the details of the media, along with the data size. We might not be able to get into details of each option, so let's check few of them. Details option gives us the job details with extensive information. Multi job control. This dialog window gives you many options. From the action, you can choose to either suspend, resume or kill the backup, or backups. From selection, you can select, all jobs. Just this selected job. All jobs for a particular client. All jobs running through a media agent. All jobs for a particular client computer group. All jobs for a particular storage policy, and lastly, all jobs for a particular job type. You can change the priority of the job from here. The job priority is a three digit number. First digit represent operation, second digit is an agent, and the third digit is client. By default, the job manager automatically assigns the same priority to all clients and all agents. However, you can prioritize them according to your requirements by changing the default values to user defined values. If needed you can switch the first digit with agent, and the second digit with operation. You can change the job priority to all jobs, selected job, all jobs for a particular client, all jobs running through a particular media agent. Filter brings up the same window that we checked earlier. Let's check the ComCell browser. What you see on the left hand pane, are the same ones you see on the right hand side navigation pane. You can browse the contents by expanding the hierarchical structure. You can have only one ComCell browser window, but you can have multiple navigation windows. For example if you want to see the details of a client, its associated storage policy, and the storage attached to it, using the ComCell browser would be confusing. So hide the ComCell browser, and use the navigation pane to access all three of them. In the first navigation window let's check Client. From the Home menu, select ComCell to open a new navigation pane. From the second window let's open, Storage Resources, Libraries, In the third window, Open Policies, Storage Policies, Now you can navigate all three of them without confusion. If you expand ComCell browser, you will see all three sections are expanded. Event Viewer Shows critical, major, minor, and informational events occur in this comm cell. The maximum events shown are limited to 200.
Maximum days shown are 2 days. In the Comcell browser you have agents as seen here. Once you click you will see the hierarchy changed to granular agents. You can quickly check how many client servers have which agent installed. My favorites, show list of servers which you have added to the favorites list. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.